This is Canyon. And this is Andy. You're, You're listening, listening to Something, Something Different, Different with Mark E. Ramon, Ramon on WECS Radio. 90.1 FM. <laughs> Canyon, one of the alumni over at Swan Day CT Celebration. She will be at the, uh, the celebration this year. March 28th in Wolkett at the Illusions Nightclub. Wow, we just had Beth Patella on, and now, stay tuned. No, it's not over yet. The show's not over. We still have one more to go. That, Virginia. About seven years ago, Virginia Semagini packed her bags and moved to a new country, leaving life as she knew it far behind. Virginia was born and raised in Brazil in Sao Paulo, and Connecticut has embraced her with all its love since 2008. This new place she now calls home, brought her the inspiration she needs to create, write, and connect with fellow human beings in a whole new way. From this change emerged that Virginia, an artist who is fearless and relentless. Virginia, how are you today? Well, hold on, let me get the microphone on. Oh my goodness. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Today's a, a wonderful day to listen to music, I tell you. It's always a wonderful day to listen to music. <laughs> it is. <laughs> But really, I mean, where would we be if we didn't have music? I don't know. We'd Could be cave imagine. people and living off the land and be uncivilized and all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh, so, what do you want to tell me about your life here in the United States of America? Um, it's been a crazy, crazy journey. You came over not too long ago, right? Uh, 2008. Wow, that's not long it ago. It kind of just happened and... You know, it was one of those things like the universe just works in weird ways and I just ended up here. And um, I used to come here to visit. My, my father has lived here for a long time and I used to hate it. I hate <laughs> it. I came to visit when I was a kid and I thought this was the most boring place in the world. And, wow. And after I grew older a little bit, I was like, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. So I just went back to Brazil after I was visiting and then I just packed my stuff. I sold most of my things. I quit my job, dropped out of college and... Goodbye. <laughs> so the, on and a now way, you're back on a college campus. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, it's been crazy. So you're happy though? I'm very happy. Well, that's all. Yes. That's what's important. <laughs> you have to be happy. Yes, I'm very happy. Were you uh, around for the World Cup last year? Did you go back? No, I wouldn't. No, no it's, it's too too, too crowded, crazy. huh? It's yeah. Too crazy. I'd be scared. Oh, me too. I I don't <laughs> like crowds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, well, at least they were in the final, right? Or the semifinal? Um, that was actually very embarrassing. I don't I don't remember if we were in the semifinal or like the <laughs> quarterfinals, but we They uh, were playing at some was, point. It was, a, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> All right. I won't bring up uh, the old <laughs> wounds. Um, the melodies take us on a trip where you take a back seat and the music takes total control of you. You want to enlighten us on uh, how the music just kind of overtakes you? Well, this kind of came up on um, a conversation I have I was having with a friend. There was always this discussion. Um, I have like, so much respect for everybody that you know studies music and knows everything. And I, I'm kind of like a more organic artist. Like everything I learn, I learn by myself. I've never been to a music school or huh? any coaching or anything. Is always done alone. And I feel like for me, it's less than a learning. It's more like discovery. I. I have that approach that I, I feel like I don't have control over it sometimes. Like when I'm writing or playing, I just, it's kind of this moment where I, 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 don't, I forget everything and I can't hear anything around me. And it's just like that one moment that I'm there and it's just, I feel like I lose control of it. And I like that. That is cool. So yeah. you're not like technical and you're saying, oh, wait, that should have been a C, not a B. Oh, my goodness. No, you're not worried about that like stuff, that huh? would be limiting to me just for my nature. Just let it so be. I like to have that approach. It works. It works for me. Just let it go. Yeah. All right. So you want to start off with a, a song? Sure. Awesome. Yes. What are we going to do? What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to do the song called Dynamite Me. It will be on my next album. The next album by That Virginia. Are you doing a Kickstarter campaign too? I probably should. You should. I it's should. it's a popular <laughs> way to raise some money. Yeah. Better than going oh, out there with a panhandler. <laughs> All right.
Awesome. Whoa, man. Amazing. I Thank love you. that. I love that. That, that Virginia. Yes. When you're singing all by yourself, do you just say Virginia or do you still no, say that Virginia? Virginia? Okay. Yeah. That's always Is it like that good. girl no. from the 60s? When <laughs> <laughs> who no. was that? Who, who played that girl? Marlo Thomas. Marlo Thomas. Thank you. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we get a prize over to Lydia. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that Virginia. Yes. <laughs> My goodness, I'm I'm at a loss for words because there's such beautiful music being played today. <laughs> so yeah. this is your first Swan Day, right? Yes, it is. I'm really excited. I'm very excited. This is such a beautiful event, and like being part of it after you know wishing I was for <laughs> for a while, it, it just feels great. And I think the the whole lineup is so powerful, and everybody's just so beautiful, and I'm very very excited be a part of it so it means a lot to you i can tell <laughs> yeah i mean anything that supports women you know it's such it's such a sometimes people know it's not it's you know women are taking over but it's not it's still hard sometimes it's got a long ways to go for that yeah there's still a lot to fight for and i think anything that supports women and arts is is so valuable it's about equality at least for me it's, it's about equality and if you go out there and you open up the newspaper and you look at all the musicians playing for the weekend, not too many women. At least not no. too many women-fronted artists. In, uh, so when we come together for Swan Day to celebrate some importing women artists now, it shouldn't be a big surprise. Yeah. Um, I usually ask everybody... I. I been forgetting to do this lately but i have asked everybody what's your favorite comfort food like when you're going out and playing whether you're touring the state or the country or the region or whatever is there a place that you go to for your favorite comfort food and before you answer <laughs> I, I i made sure i wanted to ask you this because i noticed that you played in bridgeport recently <laughs> at my favorite place for a comfort food which is two boots i used to go to new york city to get it and now and now we have one in Connecticut as well. I didn't even know they had one in the city, actually. Oh, my goodness. They have several in the city. 
I didn't know. I had I just thought it was the one in Bridgeport. And we were going to we were in Brooklyn going to Ladyland, and we walked by it. I was like, wait, is it two boots? <laughs> two boots. It has the best pizza ever. Yeah. It I, is such a thin is. crust, great <laughs> toppings, and the uh, the decor in in the restaurant is is amazing. You just got to go. It is a nice atmosphere, but enough about food. I want to. <laughs> so, is there any place like you look forward to for like comfort food? You were mentioning before you saw Lady Lamb and you brought her some food. What did yeah, you bring her? We brought her clementines. Clementines. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> nice fresh clementines, seedless. I yeah. hope. Well, it's a. It was a play because she has a a song called Violet Clementine, and we we brought her clementines wrapped in violet tissue paper, <laughs> and we we just wanted. I bet that brought a smile to her face. We just like. I was like, we're ten year olds today. Let's do this. She was, she was like, oh my god, this is great. She <laughs> loved it. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> my goodness, what what do you think a fan could bring you someday? Well, anyone who knows me knows that I've I've been on a spaghetti squash. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've been eating recently. Nice roasted spaghetti squash with some salt and pepper yeah, and some been, olive oil. Like it's almost embarrassing how obsessed I've been with it. So it's good food. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's good stuff. All right, enough about food. I don't know why we're talking about food. This is about <laughs> music. Oh, my goodness. It's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> Another good song by Stereo MCs. Um, now, you're, you're supported when you perform live? Are you supported by a whole band? or? Um, usually not. I no. play solo a lot. Um, S1, I will be joined by another wonderful singer-songwriter, Sarah Golly. She'll be joining me on piano and voice. Awesome. And uh, possibly Maddie, <laughs> which I think so too. She hasn't accepted my invitation officially. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. <laughs> We're all chanting um, for her. But it'll be really pretty. And we didn't, I think, I thought we started to mention this, but did you do a, a some kind of a campaign to do a, an album? I tried doing it a um, couple of years ago, but I think it was too much too soon for me. And, I was and it wasn't Kickstarter. Over my head and I just like, okay, I have to do this again. <laughs> I'm like, I need a little bit more time. Now you've got some time to look at other artists. Look at Canyon's uh, campaign. Look at Beth Patella's campaign. Yeah. Jennifer so Hill. There's a lot of good, ones very there. successful ones yeah. out there. All right, so what do you want to tell me about uh, a song that you're performing and... What's one that really grabs the audience, do you think? Like, what do you mean? Like, when I'm performing, like, any song? When you're performing, do you, is there a song that you play that kind of, you can tell, really affects the audience, where the audience, like, really gets into it? Um, there, there's so many different songs. There's one specific, it's called I Wrote My Own, and it's kind of, it was the song that was my turning point when I decided, no, I have to stop, just hiding or tr- or thinking that I'm not good enough or thinking that I I shouldn't try. And I feel like after I wrote that song, it was more of an anthem to myself to believe that I can do these things and not, you know, just not diminish who I am and what I have to give and and just knowing that you can be enough. It's not you can't let anybody or yourself. That's you know, the most important part. Enough. Don't let yourself knock you down. Yeah, cuz I feel like from everybody, I'm my worst enemy. You know, all times. It's so I'm critical, and I, you know, I question things, and so I think that's like one that I connect with a lot, and people end up connecting to because, in a way, is it, it goes for anything you do. You know, wow. it's writing songs or it's doing whatever you do, like just believing that you can do and not, you know, not going against yourself is a great message. Yeah. So, what's our next song going to be? Um, well, I I wanted to play. I'm gonna play that song now. We're talking about it. I if if it, even if you don't, I'm gonna play it on the from the internet. So we're gonna hear that song by the end of the day. <laughs> I will do it. I'll do it. It's, so I wrote my own. Thank you. 
Yay! Oh man, I love it. That was awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. My goodness. So, what kind of music were you listening to in Brazil? Um. Well, when I first started, you know, really getting into music, I was mo- listening to a lot of hard, like metal. I was very into. Well, I still am very into like Marilyn Manson and like those like very like hard, like gothic, like black metal and. I think that was, surprisingly, a lot of what shaped my taste in music. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> a little bit of a shock. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, saw a picture of Marilyn Manson with his father, and they were both dressed up yeah, in makeup. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> but that was that was a big influence somehow. And, um, you know, there I feel like I neglected Brazilian music, which is like a thing that now I feel like I'm finally making up for it. I feel like the... The things I've been writing more recently, I've been finally reconnecting with that side of me that I neglected. Because I always thought, like, no, national music sucks. I don't like this. This is crap. And then I was like, now I feel bad because I, I feel like I need to reconnect with that because I was being judgmental and, and a teenager. And ah. it's actually really good quality music. So educate me. I'm, I'm very ignorant. If you're walking down the streets of uh, whatever, Sao Paulo in Brazil, mm-hmm. what do you hear? Do you just hear silence or is there people playing music? You or? hear a lot of like samba. If you go to Rio, a lot of funk, but different funk than we're talking about here. Like not the funk that you listen to. Make very it funky. Funk, I, that, that's a, a type of music I really don't like. It's usually very like bad like themes. Oh, okay. Overly Naughty sexual themes. and like um, misogynist. Yeah. <laughs> but... That there's that, but there's also a lot of... But it's got a great beat. <laughs> it does have a great beat. And it, there's also a lot of, um, like, popular Brazilian music, and, like, the old-school popular Brazilian music. Mm-hmm. Like, the great songwriters, and, and, I don't know, there's a mix of everything there. <laughs> it's like, there's not one thing that that's common. It's, it's really incredible. Do you ever hear Ani DeFranco down there? No. They don't play Ani DeFranco and. <laughs> I don't. I I didn't hear. But oh. Check her out. Yeah. She's awesome. Oh, I know her, but not. Okay. From here, but not there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need to spread her down south, South America. Bring some Ani DeFranco down there. <laughs> All right, we got, we're running out of time. I have to do dial a song from They Might Be Giants, um, but I want to do one more song from you. Do you want right. to do another live or do you want to do off the internet? I'll do a live one. Ooh. I'll do a live one. What's a treat for us? And this is a cool one because it's, it's a very influenced by my time in Brazil and how I, over the years of living here, I, I've grown more and more like, oh, winter, I just can't handle it sometimes because my body's not built for this. So <laughs> this is like a recent one that I wrote about that. About so the winter? Yes. Awesome. Okay. My body, body, body is dropping my body, body, body is dropping, go, go, go. My jeans were more from the palm trees and my hands are long enough to hold a sunset. And my feet were built to be dipped in white sand. And my eyes were picked from fresh greens. My body is warm, as warm as the asphalt. My temperature is measured in Celsius and has never been a negative sign. My bones could score, spared of a thousand trees, swaying on a sound of samba. And my arms strong like bamboo, always bending, but never breaking. My body, body, body is dropping. is made of tucks, most of big teeny tiny seeds of tropical fruits. My essence tastes like papaya when it's ripe. And I speak with a sweetness of fresh juice. My body, body, body is tropical. It's not cold like the dead of winter. It's
It's warm like a cup of espresso I'm warm like the sun in the I'm going to be listening to that all week. I love that song. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That Virginia right here on this show. Thank you, Virginia, Thank for coming you for down. Thank you for having me. This has been so much fun. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see you at Swan Day now. Do I can't wait to be Do you know there. the lineup yet? Did Jen didn't give out the lineup, the um, lineup yet, right? Yeah. Yeah, she usually waits to the last minute. You will find out. But I'm going to come down as soon as I leave here at 5 o'clock. I'm going to run down there, so I'll... I might miss the first artist, but I will get there. It's going to be wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Virginia, thanks very much for coming down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have uh, got to get ready here um, for the They Might Be Giant dial song before we go. We've only got nine, eight minutes. My goodness. So I'm going to play a quick song. No, I'm going to do a quick public service announcement. Stick around. That Virginia, maybe she'll stick around and do that uh, dial song by They Might Be Giants. Stay tuned. You're listening to 90.1 WECS.